America lives in our right to protest for right. I tell you what else we're doing here today. We are reminding America that it is a crime to live in this rich nation and to receive starvation wages. We built tall buildings that touch the skies. We done built bridges that span the seas. Through our spaceships, we are able to carve highways into the stratosphere. With our planes, we are able to rob distance and to place time and change. Through our submarines, we are able to penetrate oceanic depth. Oh, but it seems to me that I can hear the God of the universe saying, even though you've done all that, I was hungry and you fed me not. I'm Michael Russell. I'm the president of SO. We're one of the many organizations that are out here protesting in the fight for 15. Uh, so, what brought you out? Tell me a little bit about the problems and the struggles that people are going through right now. Well, the reality is that you cannot live on $8.25 an hour, and the bulk of our country and this city exist on $8.25. You can't rent an apartment. You cannot sustain a family. You can't even sometimes afford to get to work on $8.25 an hour. So we are fighting for a living wage. $15 an hour is the, is the basement. It's the foundation. It's not the ceiling. That's the place where you start from. If you can do that, then what you can do is you can take care of a family. You can get an apartment. You can pay bills, and you can get to work. That's why I'm out here. I have two members of my family that are minimum wage. I have members of my church that are minimum wage. And we want to fight so that everybody has an opportunity at the prosperity of the United States of America. Bottom line. What do we do to take action, and how do we get that? If people will not organize, it will not happen. Folk are not going to do it out of the goodness of their heart. Corporations don't have a heart. And the reality is what they will respond to is the pressure of organized people. So that's what we're doing now. You've seen a rainbow of shirts representing a rainbow of organizations that are out here for the same cause. And that is to close the... the, the, the the economic inequality, the the, the, the the financial gap to close. No, we are out here in order to get justice for everyone and to allow everyone to live decently in this country. That's why we're here. And that's what we're going to keep fighting for. All right. Thank you. All right, Mike. solidarity with the fight for 15 because the movement has extended way way beyond the fast food workers uh, we assisted today at a spontaneous strike by security guards uh, at the uh, brink company it's an armored car company 
uh, and we have the uh, adjunct faculty also you, uh, you know joining here we have students so this is already a movement it's not even an organization it's a whole movement and that's we are part of that we insist on 15 and 15 now because, for instance, the city of Chicago is increasing wages, but it's going to be 13 in 2019. By 2019, if you count in, uh, inflation, it's going to be like having today uh, $9.15 or something like that. So that's not enough. It's just perpetuating poverty and poverty wages. So what we want and what we need is 15 now. We're insisting. McDonald's is promising $1 over the, the local minimum wage. For many people in the country, that means $8.25 an hour, because the federal minimum wage is $7.25. We live in Chicago, our minimum wage here now is $8.25, and we know that's not enough. That's poverty wages. So that's why we need 15 now, and we insist on 15 now. I think the city of Chicago, for instance, and McDonald's offered the race, the city of Chicago adopted the race because of the movement, because we keep moving, we keep putting pressure. If we keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and people come out on strike, maybe we have a shot at getting 15 now, not today or not tomorrow, but maybe within this year or maybe by the next, uh, by the next year. And it's going to be a whole lot more than what we have had today.